<laughs> On Funniest Pets and People, a dog scratches a seven-year itch. A visit from Victoria's ferret. A man takes a different kind of bird bath. A baby goes for a wild ride. A feathery feeding frenzy. And is it spring forward or fall back? It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. All right, you're gonna love these clips. I have a good feeling about it. After being cooped up all day in his cage, all Pacer wants to do is dance. Dance. Dance! And now it's time for cute or playful. Is scratching your dog's butt with your toe cute? Or is it playful? Take your time. Really think about it. Cute or playful? Oh, I'm sorry, we were looking for Icky. Icky, no winner again this week. So the jackpot will roll over to next week on Cute or Playful. Now, most dogs love frolicking in this fountain, but not Buckles. Now, that's because Buckles wants to be a plumber. And all he can think about right now is where is the source of that leak? And how on earth is he gonna work a crescent wrench without any thumbs? <laughs> Lady McFeathers is getting her very first makeover. And I'll tell you, she is loving every minute of it. The shampoo, the blow dry. Especially the blow dry. Yep, it feels so good. But then again, she hasn't gotten into the bikini wax. Howdy, partners, and welcome to the Itchy Belly Ranch. Lightning here has got one seriously itchy belly, which is why the ranch is well stocked in plenty of low-lying shrubbery just for scratching. Uh-oh, Lightning's picked the wrong bush, and here comes Spot to tell him why. That there bush is poison oak. <laughs> oh, well, it's off to the Calamine Corral. Now listen, if you thought going through airport security was a pain for you, well, just take a look at what ducks have to go through now before they're allowed to fly. All right, he's clean. This little poochie saw an old movie on TV last night. Lassie was digging a well, so he figured he'd try it too. You know, I guess it's a good thing he wasn't watching the History Channel. Because right now, he'd be invading Poland. <laughs> Mickey and Maud are loving the feeling of being in this swing. And for the moment, they're flying! But pretty soon, it's gonna dawn on them. How do we get out of this thing? Here's a clip that's gonna go straight to your head. Some kids have a jungle gym. Some kids have a swing set. These twins have dad. All the danger of a playground, half the fun. So what do you think? Would this be called a headstand or a handstand? <laughs> These clips are for the young at heart. Okay, everyone, time to play zookeeper. Timmy will be the zookeeper. The tiger is nature's most ferocious creature. And, hey, wait a minute. There are no dogs in zookeeper. Muggles. New game. It's called Guess Who's Going to the Vet. Here's a clue. It's not nature's most ferocious creature. Right now, baby's at the age where the cat can still take him. 
The bad news for the cat is the baby's still growing and... And I'll tell you what, that cat better hope that six months from now, <laughs> the baby doesn't remember this smackdown. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Baby Ben is trying to play keep away from his doggy chestnut. When Ben gets older, his parents will teach him about sharing. When Chestnut gets older, Ben is going to teach him about revenge. This little girl thinks she's playing horsey. Unfortunately, the dog thinks they're playing bucking bronco. All the dog wanted to do was wash the dirt out of his paws. Unfortunately, his owner just finished reading the book Fun with Foe. Oh no, the neighbor dog got sucked into this foam of palooza. Shake it off, fellas. You better hit the road before she breaks out the conditioner. Okay, class, pay attention. This is a lesson in Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Class dismissed. Okay, these next clips are very sneaky. Has this ever happened to you? You're enjoying a nice club sandwich in your backyard when the phone rings and the unthinkable happens. A sneaky dog steals your sub. Well, you don't have to be a victim anymore. Introducing the Club Club. A small tracer is baked right into the bread of your sandwich, making your lunch safer than ever. Let's see that again, this time with the Club Club in action. Club Club, available at all retail stores and hoagie shops. Marvin hates taking baths in the sink, so now he's decided to do something about it. And none of this jumping off the counter stuff for Marvin. Oh, no, no. He's taking the sneaky way out. There he goes. Good luck, Marvin. May you stay unwashed forever. At Thanksgiving, Max snuck into the kitchen and ruined dinner by eating the entire turkey. At Christmas, the owners built a gate the size of the garage door to keep him out. Uh-oh, looks like it's takeout for Thanksgiving dinner. Here's a curious little guy. What's he looking for? Probably a fun toy to play with, right? Mmm, that was unexpected. Let's speed up the rest of this in case he pulls out something crazy. There, looks like everything's okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now he's really digging. Uh, you know what? We, we better get out of here before we find something we can't show on television. Over 10 million peanuts are stolen in this country alone. Here are some tips to keep your peanuts safe from any sneaky squirrels that are about. Number one, don't leave your peanuts in a glass jar. Seeing your peanuts on display will only tempt the very predators you are trying to deter. Number two, don't put a cardboard cat face on top of the jar. A predator's attempts to nuzzle the cute kitten's whiskers will no doubt lead to his discovering your peanuts than doing what he will. Friends, if you value your nuts, follow these tips. You know, this isn't so much sneaky as it is just plain rude. Bad dog. Bad dog. 
This guy has his shirt off because A, the air conditioning in his apartment is broken, B, he wants to show off his fantastic guns, or C, he's about to get his back waxed. The next trick <laughs> is a little impersonation of a chainsaw that I do. <laughs> Why does he need his shirt off anyway? I hate to cut off Mr. Chainsaw, but we're breaking in with this chase. Everybody in the Henderson household was happy that the exterminator got rid of those darn mice. Well, almost everybody. Hey, Shadow, get over here. Get, get up. Take, take that. I... Oh, that's it. I'm not falling for that again. You'll have to get up pretty early in the game. Shadow, I'm gonna get you. Who, who do you think you are, you with your smug shadow looks and your... Oh. Okay, get a grip on yourself, John. Calm down. It's just a... Shadow, I'm taking you down, Shadow! You don't want a piece of me, baby! Oh, come on, Johnny. Take control of your life. You can't just... Two shadows? All right, this time it's personal! Sparky's owner decided to have an outdoor party, and he's enlisted Sparky to help clean the leaves off the patio. He's been working all day, so it should be. Uh, looks like Sparky missed one there. What's up with Sparky? I mean, come on, he had all day to do this. What was he so busy doing that he couldn't clean off the patio? Huh? Was he too busy napping? Couldn't get to the leaves because he had an important meeting scheduled with his tail? All right, I guess it's time to call the guests and let them know it's gonna be an indoor party. <laughs> Can't afford an expensive gardener? This is the low budget way of having fun while also watering the lawn. He's spending a good time throwing people today. You've never had so much green on your lawn or in your wallet. <laughs> it's time for some fun in the sun. All this dog wants to do on this summer day is fill up the kiddie pool with water from the sprinkler. But it seems like the sprinkler has a mind of its own. Don't worry, little doggy. If you can't get that sprinkler to stay still for long enough, you can always do a rain dance. <laughs> they make a water pick for dogs. They make a water pick for squirrels. Finally, there's a dental care system for horses. It's the new Pony Pick. The Pony Pick can remove six inches of compacted oats in seconds and dislodges an entire carrot on contact. Now, there's Pony Pig. <laughs> Our hero, Squirrel, faces off with his nemesis, the stick. <laughs> now, when you see your dog all alone in the backyard and he's throwing a metal pan to himself, you know what you might want to do? Play catch with him. Come on, he's begging for it. Or at the very least, you know, splurge. Get the mud of Frisbee. Oh, would you look at that? Baby cubs playing all over this jungle gym. Which means Mama Bear is not far behind. Which means this backyard is about to be taken over by a family of black bears. which means it's time to put down the video camera and start building a fence. Point of order on the issue of worms for breakfast. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Second issue, a resolution to place all birds on the endangered species list, except ducks. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? <laughs> Motion passes. 
Well, that'll do for this show. Gotcha! Roll of plastic wrap, $3.89. Duct tape, $1.19. Taping your roommate falling for the invisible wall trick? Priceless. <laughs> Let's see that again. Oh! <laughs> Hungry for more? Well, here are the clips du jour. Why are the birds at the Piazza San Marcos attacking these tourists? Well, it could be the bread they're holding. Or it could be the cologne they're wearing. Crouton number five. Now, this works well with ginger ale, but as this guy found out later, not so well with hot soup. <laughs> and just when you thought this couldn't get any classier... <laughs> yeah, that's right, ladies. He's single. The line forms to the right. You know those Harvard guys born with a silver spoon in their nose? Congratulations! A fellow Harvard man wants to buy you a drink. Smart. <laughs> You'll never get all the milk out of there. Now, we're all rooting for him, but that glass is way too big. I'm sure he's got a long tongue, but not that long. There's absolutely no way for him to gain access... Oh, yeah. I, I knew that. <laughs> These little guys are really hungry. These guys are out of control. Why, these guys are acting like a bunch of pigs. A monkey chewing gum? Well, he'd better have brought enough for everyone. Now, ordinarily, the zoo wouldn't let him chew gum, but he promised to brush his teeth right after. Now, everyone knows what an ostrich is, but what does an ostrich eat? The answer? Anything in a bucket. Grain, yarn, rocks, doesn't matter. As long as it's in a bucket, these ostriches are gonna chow down, baby. Come to think of it, who wouldn't enjoy eating their dinner this way? know a funny pet or person? Are you a funny pet or person? Well, tape your pet or yourself doing something funny and send it to Funniest Pets and People, PO Box 7898, Burbank, California, 91505-9998.
Make sure no animals or people are harmed in the making of your video, and please include your phone number. If we use it on the show, we'll send you $100 on a Funniest Pets and People t-shirt. Are you ready to rock? Then let's roll. Okay, it's time for a game of Fetch the Rock. Why spend 69 cents for a tennis ball when nature has provided a hard, heavy object for the dog to chip his teeth on? And unlike a tennis ball, it's hard to throw a rock too far. So you never have to worry about the dog getting too much exercise. Yep, fetch the rock. And if you don't like using all that energy picking up a rock, you can always play Fetch Air. <laughs> Final 58 seconds of the match here, and Owl leads Dog 2-0. An amazing game by Owl, and now he's content to lay back and play defense, milking the clock for all it's worth. Dog is scrambling, trying to save face before the final gun. And goal! A score by Dog cuts the lead two to one. But it's far too little, too late, as Owl should... What's this? Dog continues to push the action. He has seized on the momentum of... Yes, Dog has done it! Tied Owl at two apiece. What an amazing scene on the pitch this afternoon. On Funniest Pets and People... An ambitious dog tries to claw his way to the top. A llama who does a spit take. A baby with pressing issues. A ferret freight train. And a canine cut-up. So watch out, America, because here we come. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. Did you know how much fun you can have with ordinary household items? Well, neither did we, until we saw these clips. This may look like a silly waste of time, but it's actually teaching this little boy a valuable lesson. His parents have a lot of free time. Now you get it. This is just his family's inventive way to blow out the candle on his very first birthday cake. You don't have time to see how they blew out the candles when Grandpa turned 89. <laughs> Goodbye, solar power. Hello, paw power. Runs clean, runs cheap, plays fetch. And this doggy fan has two settings, slow and slower. Now, granted, it may not be the most effective cooling system around, but try and find an air conditioner that licks your face. Our next household item is a doggy shredder. Right now, it's shredding the yellow pages. You know what they say, let your fangs do the walking. Now, just guess what he's ripping up the phone book looking for. A dog trainer. And we rejoin Kitty Keep Away already in progress. Not surprisingly, the humans are holding a commanding lead against the cats who seem powerless to. Hello, Doctor! We got ourselves a ball game! The humans are on the defense as the kitty comeback begins. <laughs> and a tremendous block! Me! Ouch! That has got to hurt! The cats are close now. This is anybody's ball game. And speaking of household items with more than one use, here's a simple gardening tool that doubles as a thing dogs want to chase for no reason thingy. Look at him chase that thing that he's chasing for no reason thing. Spellbinding, isn't it? No? <laughs> well, let's move on. 
Wow, and you thought your cat looked down on you. But you have to give it up for this clever cat. He's found a way to turn a common door into a penthouse in the sky. Cat can get away from it all and relax and feel safe. Well, as long as no one closes the door. <laughs> now, this woman has trained her cat to fetch a Q-tip. It begs the question, though, if she's trained the cat to fetch, did she train the dog to use the litter box and act cold and aloof? <laughs> Answer me! I had a busy day, chasing mice, imaginary insects, playing with yarn. Man, I am exhausted. So please, just let me sleep. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Hey, what part of I'm exhausted don't you understand? Thank you. Here's our old friend, the Super Shredder Dog again. He thought he was going to be mailed to Hawaii, but when he found out it was just an empty box, as they say in the post office, he was just a little disgruntled. <laughs> hey, summer's around the corner, and let's face it, you want to look good and help the environment. And now you can. With the Crusher. The Crusher's a revolutionary new exercise system that helps you work your shoulders and clean your conscience by crushing cans so they're ready for recycling. You give us five minutes, and we'll give you five cans. And in no time, you'll have the can crushing power of 10 men and a big hug from Al Gore. <laughs> Watch out, funny clips ahead. Look at this guy, carefree, wind in his hair, sailing along through life. Yep, nothing can stop this guy. Oh, well, except for that. That would be the one thing right there. Yeah, colliding into a buoy at 60 miles an hour will do it every single time. Here's the last of the door-to-door -door cat salesmen. Everyone knows cat salesmen will not take no for an answer. He reminds them that if they order now, he'll throw in a free clock radio. Still no takers. Now, he's going into the classic, I have two kids in private school routine. And they ain't buying it. Can he interest you in a vacuum, perhaps? Someday, this little guy's gonna watch this clip and recall that some of his warmest childhood memories were of his dad hiking him up on his shoulders and running down the hallway. Oh, okay. Maybe not his warmest childhood memories. <laughs> Animal photographer rule number 27. Never stare down a llama who's just eaten a can of refried pinto beans. <laughs> Animal photographer rule 28. If you get spit in the face by a llama who's eaten pinto beans, don't go on TV reliving every disgusting second. I think that was probably the worst thing that can happen to a human being. I mean, to have basically what appeared to be and smelled to be poop spit right in your face. You know, I think I got some in my mouth. I mean, <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, 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 Junior, so, Junior, we get it. It's gonna cost me. Ah. Oh. See ya. Last year, when the petting zoo was in town, Bobby threw a food pellet that happened to hit a goat. Well, that goat made a mental note. The note. Just two words. Get Bobby. <laughs> yep, goats never forget. So what happened? He hit you in the butt? Yeah. <laughs> you ever wonder where your luggage goes when you check in at the airport? That's right, folks. It goes to the ferrets. Here they inspect, dig, sniff, and eventually tumble. <laughs> now, whoever said animals are lazy are just plain wrong. Well, except for cats. Here, a volunteer cat firefighter goes through one of the many drills in preparation for rescuing a cat. <laughs> 
trapped in a high place with no way down. You know, like, uh, well, like this cat. You see this little dog just quietly digging away on his little hole? I bet you don't think much of it. Just a dog digging a little hole, I mean, who cares, right? Well, my friend, someday through sheer force of will and dogged persistence, and a lot of hard work, this little hole will become something much greater. Yes, a big hole. Okay, I guess I got a little worked up there, but I haven't slept in like seven days. We all know dieting is hard work. This raccoon is paying the price for stumbling onto a campsite and polishing off an entire box of donuts. Whoop, he squeezed through, he made it. Sure, he's learned his lesson. What if he's caught a whiff of that camper hiking up with a bag of chocolate pretzels? All aboard! This train is local, stopping at 72nd, 86th, and 92nd Street. Please have your tickets ready, and please refrain from shedding. The following is an actual call to Hedgehog Star. Help, I got a cardboard tube on my head. Okay, hold on, where are you? I don't know. Is there anyone in the tube with you? I can't tell, it's dark. Can you get to the couch? I can't get anywhere. Okay, remain calm. Help is on the way. I'm scared. Do you want us to stay on the line with you? Yes, please. We've pinpointed your location. You're in the breakfast nook. The fire department is on its way. Thank you. It's what we do, hon. Hedgehog star. Because you never know when you'll get your head caught in a cardboard tube. <laughs> Boy, talk about hard work. This doggy is doing household chores. Oh, yeah, okay, he may be terrific at picking up laundry, but, but don't be too impressed. He stinks at separating darks and lights. <laughs> By the way, I hope she's using a powerful bleach because everything now has dog spit on it. This owner has trained his dog to dump garbage into a trash can. Now, if only the dog could train his owner to stop throwing trash in the yard. This is a special new doggy instructional video called I forgot what to do when my master comes home. The first part is titled, My Master Came Home From Vacation. Part two, My Master Got Home From Work. Part three, My Master Just Came From The Other Room. Well, you get the idea. Okay, everybody, we're gonna work on your laugh muscles. Watch these next clips and laugh and laugh and laugh. This bear is stretching his leg in preparation for the bear -a -thon, which involves walking 12 feet to a guy who tossed him 100 pounds of salmon. After that, it's the burp -a -thon, followed by the sleep -a -thon. Oh, needless to say, this is a guy bear. This is amazing, never-before-seen footage. Not because it's a cat moving on a treadmill, because it's a cat moving, period. I mean, we're talking about a cat here, folks. Moving, actually moving. No, no, this is historic. We just hope performance-enhancing chemicals were not involved. Oh, by the way, following this workout, the cat spent three years sleeping on the TV. Come on, he earned it. Learning to swim is a great way to stay in shape, which is why this dog owner is teaching his dog to swim. Well, right now, he's teaching him to doggy paddle. But come on, it's a process. You gotta have respect for the water, even if it is a pool, four feet deep, and you're being held by your master above it. Gotta have that respect. Wait, here it comes. The magical moment. Now, if only his master knew how to swim. 
What seems to be the problem? What's the problem? It won't turn. The wheel's totally locked up. Well, when's the last time you had this wheel aligned? Well, it's brand new. No, you really gotta have these things balanced and aligned every few thousand miles. And listen, it's making a squeaking noise. I don't hear it. There it is again. Oh, no, no, that's me. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? This thing won't turn. Yes, I think it's a problem with the wheel. No kidding. Is it under warranty? The whole thing's under warranty. Great! Except for the wheel. Son of a... The Wilsons got tired of Fluffy running all over their couch, so they got the sofa alarm. Sofa alarm detects anything with four legs and emits an annoying buzz sure to repel your dog. Bruno is amazing, isn't he? In fact, he just nabbed a four-year scholarship to Stanford to play on the women's volleyball team. Well, provided they work out the dorm situation, because, you know, they gotta install a fire hydrant in the ladies' room. You laugh, but this is the only bird that can actually walk south for the winter. All kidding aside, this bird is actually trying to get in shape and lose weight. He's even eating low-carb worms. He's remembered everything to do to stay healthy, except one thing. The cat lives upstairs. Christmas is a lot of fun. Say hello to one of Santa's reindeer. Oh, not all of them get to fly on the sleigh. This guy works in toy quality control. Now, you may know him as Blitzen. Santa promised him a promotion, and Blitzen is a little ticked off. And by ticked off, we mean ballistic. So if you're Santa, or this toy truck, <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> Babies love to have fun, usually with their mommies. This baby wants to come to mama, but he's about to make a mind-altering discovery. Glass. You can't go above it, you can't go below it, you can't go through it. It's glass. <laughs> if you're a dog, what is more fun than chasing water from a garden hose? Well, for this doggy, it's chasing water from a garden hose over and 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 over again. Now that's fun. After shopping around for the perfect anniversary gift, this dog has decided to say it with flowers. Of course, this kind of shopping can be very exhausting, and at some point, everybody deserves a snack. This dog reminds us, as you go through life, no matter how much of a hurry you're in, don't forget to stop and eat the roses. Talk about fun. This guy is having fun with a cutting-edge new toy called the Yo-Yo Mouse. Man, there is nothing better than watching a true professional at work, huh? Unless you're a mouse, then, uh, ooh, that's a whole new story. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, unless it thinks it's a dog, which this horse does. Just watch. Heel! Roll over. All right, now play dead. Good doggy horsey. Good doggy horsey. Yeah, this horse definitely has some species issues. Okay, guys, this is a big moment. This is what these guys have been practicing for. They've done the math. They calculated the temperature Barometric pressure, wind velocity. Yeah, they planned it down to the last detail, and now they know exactly where that tree is gonna fall. Okay, on the count of three. One, and two. Oh, wait, he got it! Three. What goes up must come down, and if you don't believe me, watch this. I wanted to get a swing set, patio furniture, and a new barbecue, but she had to have a slide. This is it. Every day now, this is what I have to look forward to. Okay, I am taking that hill. I don't care anymore. You can't stop me. 
He can only try to contain me. Watch me work. Break it down. Whoa, that felt like a moonwalk. I have to lie down now. Hey, snails and sloths, looking for some summer fun? Then visit Wet and Mild Water Park and ride the Shell Cracker. Strap in and hold on tight because you're about to shoot up eight inches and then free fall eight inches back down at an exhilarating point zero 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 six miles an hour. Whoa, mama! The Shell Cracker! You must be at least one half inch tall to go on this ride. Every once in a while, a gymnast comes along that is so naturally gifted, so amazingly limber, that he redefines the sport. This is not that gymnast. Ooh, that was one ugly, ugly moment in sports history. Let's watch it again! This is a bird who flips up and down over, well, anything. Just watch. Hey, Cammy, I bought new bird seed. Wow! The price of gas is down three cents. Wow! The White Sox choked. Wow! We ran out of creamer. Wow! 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 You know, they say a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's. Well, that's certainly the case with Marky here, who spends all day eating soap. Now, if only the Andersons could get their dog to do the same thing. Do you have a funny video of you or your pet? Well, send it to Funniest Pets and People, P.O. Box 7898, Burbank, California, 91505-9998. Please include your phone number. And if we use your funniest moment on the air, we'll send you $100 and a Funniest Pets and People t-shirt. Where an age-old rivalry is taking place, ref versus turf. Whoop, the ref goes down, the sack is credited to the turf. This turf is relentless and in his face. Ooh, score one more for the Turfinator. Let's see that again. It all begins with the wrong shoes, and it ends with a red face and grass stains. Hey, but don't worry about this ref. He's going to ice down his butt, and next Saturday, he'll be suited and ready to fall. <laughs> Good night, everybody. On Funniest Pets and People... Hit and run horse. A roller skater who makes a splash. A guy whose dog drives him lazy. A dog who's having a blast. And a bird who hits the bottom. So get ready as we roll out the funny. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. We begin with something that's too funny. Now, this dog is a shoe-in for worst in show. He didn't do so well in the obstacle leaping portion, but he's running away with the fetch competition. He's trying to get out of there with that stick. Problem is, who's gonna open the door? This guy has trained his dog to pull his master in circles on a lounge chair. Train that horse. <laughs> Get me? Mm -hmm. Get me? No, please don't try this at home, folks. Oh no, no, not because it's dangerous, because it's just freaking ridiculous. <laughs> This is one frantic feline who won't forgive himself for letting that mouse get away. He just won't stop beating himself up. A lot of anger, a lot of guilt, a lot of paw pointing. Never happy unless he's perfect. This cat needs to finally stop playing the blame game. You know, let go of all the negativity and embrace his inner kitty. Or at the very least, clean the mirror. She's just using him for his hay. Now, this may look like an unusual pair, but he's actually teaching the dog to swim. Now, go for the ball. 
Don't be afraid, be the ball. If you can't afford the dog whisperer, try the next best thing, the duck whisperer. In every marriage, there's only one of the two who doesn't want to go anywhere or do anything. It's called the guy. Now, here's a fella who's trying to get this bird to leave him alone. The problem is the man doesn't speak parakeet. See, in parakeet, get out means come here. What he should be saying is stay here, okay? Because that means go out. Yep, in parakeet, you don't want to listen means sit on my head. You're gonna fall for these people who slip up. It was the night before Christmas, about a quarter to three. These six hearty revelers took out the tree. Welcome back, folks, to the Oil Drum Rodeo. It's our final ride of the day, and Texas Tommy is up against Slick the Widowmaker Willie. Nobody's been able to ride old Slick for more than 10 seconds. And yeehaw, just look at Tex go. Six, seven, eight. Goodness gracious, they said it could not be done, and they was right. He can't feel his legs no more. Here's a pretty little princess who everyone agrees is the belle of the fall. <laughs> okay, all right, here, here she comes. <laughs> oh, and uh, there she goes. Okay, one more time, as we all anxiously await the arrival of... <laughs> hey, can we try this again in flats, please? <laughs> You know, dogs are so loyal. They'll follow their owners to the ends of the earth. Or to the depths of the lake. We all know in the wild, bears will do anything to get honey. But you see, the thing about honey is it can be hiding inside anything. I mean, a log, a car, backpack, bird feeder. Bingo! All he has to do is open up this bird feeder and that sweet honey is gonna come raining down. Come on, honey! <laughs> Just bird seed. No, there's gotta be honey in that bird seed somewhere. Come on, honey! Come, honey! H honey, come on, honey! Well, at least there are no bees. These next folks like to see things from a whole different angle. This clever doggy has figured how to turn an ordinary light into a crystal ball. I see into the future. We're going to need a new bulb. And this owner has figured he can use this cat as a drum. Or a doorstop. Or a paperweight. <laughs> or pretty much anything. He so doesn't care because, well, he's a cat. <laughs> Gall kitty maids, when you need your house cleaned lickety split, just look at that shot. Your house will be so clean, your friends will drool with envy. Kitty maids. <laughs> Dial 1-800. <laughs> this clip proves what we've all suspected. 
horses cannot parallel park worth a damn. But this horse has figured out how to turn this street cone into a belly scratcher. <laughs> According to a recent medical study, one in 1,000 cats are born without the natural ability to smell. Scientists refer to these cats as lucky. Coming up, get ready to jump up over and over and over because there's some more in-your-face comedy when we come back to Funniest Pets and People. Ah, the life of a dog. Who says it's a dog's life? Steve-O the stunt pup is about to attempt a record for jumping over little girls. As you know, the record is six, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he's done it! Steve-O has done it, a new world record! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Steve-O is going to attempt it yet again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! He's done it again, folks, another world record! Oh, wow, check out this water. Mm, yeah, it tastes like water to me. You're kidding? It's amazing. Yeah, it tastes just like water. Only the most delicious water ever. Mm, I don't like it. Wow, no, 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 try it again. All right, all right. Oh, wait, wait a minute. It tastes like chicken. And now it's time for Chester the dog who's hard of hearing. Chester, let's take a walk, buddy. Come on, let's let's take a walk. A, a walk. No, no, Chester, buddy. I said take a walk, not a rock. And that was Chester, the dog who's hard of hearing. You want to know why this owner is shooting air into his miniature poodle? Because he wanted a great dame. This big dog is about to give this little dog a lesson in the trickle-down theory. in retrospect, this owner probably realized it was a bad idea to name his dog Fire Hydrant. Now, you wouldn't know what to look at him, but this dog is actually an ultimate fighting kickboxer. He's undefeated and an expert in the ancient martial art of Kung Poodle. Just look at that lethal rear leg kick. So to all you folks at home who think poodles are just sissy little lap dogs who do nothing but make a tinkle and look cute, you're totally right. When one dog repeatedly licks another dog's ear, it can mean one of two things. One, the alpha dog is asserting his dominance over the beta dog in a social context, clearly establishing their canine roles. Or two, Ears taste good. <laughs> From brawn to brain, let's check out these clever clips. You're in a bird cage, and you can't fly anywhere. Well, unless you're a smart bird like this guy. Now he's figured out if he can't fly, the cage can fly. Okay, only in circles. But on the other hand, flying south for the winter, been there, done that. You know what they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Unless it's being kicked by a 1,500-pound horse. Yep, this smart horse is actually shaking the tree so apples drop by smacking it with his backside. You do not want to see how he makes apple cider. Here's one clever canine who is going to figure some way to get the food on the kitchen counter. <laughs> Just watch.
Sometimes dogs can be too smart for their own good. Here's a dog who is very smart. In fact, he's actually learned to lock himself up in his own kennel. Now, if he were only smart enough to let himself out. But if he were that smart, he wouldn't be a dog. He'd be a cat. This owner thought that teaching his dog to open the fridge would be a great idea. Yep, a really great idea. Until the dog figures out the fridge is where you keep all the food. I think you'll agree that this is one bird brain who's pretty darn brainy. Polly's already had a cracker. In fact, a whole box of crackers. Now what Polly wants is a drink. In any dance team, there's always a leader and a follower. And most dancers are quick to tell you that it's way better to be the leader than the follower. Get ready for these next clips, because you will not believe your ears. Flying a model airplane is complicated stuff. You need your flight jacket, you need your scarf, gotta have gloves, protective eyewear. You know what you don't need? An airplane. You can bring an invisible airplane. But don't forget to bring enough invisible fuel. This woman is gonna try to get her dog to say those three little words, I love you. Let's see if she can do it. Wow. Let's hear that again. One more time. You know the reason it was so hard to get him to say that? He's a male dog. In keeping with our theme, we present a cat that sounds like a baby. <laughs> it really does. In fact, it sounds so much like a baby, it was adopted by Angelina Jolie. <laughs> hey, I can sound like a baby too, Angie. <laughs> this parakeet speaks English remarkably well. Oh, but not like this. When, when you listen to it backwards. You don't have a plane. Wah! You don't have a plane. Wah! Huh. Wonder who he's talking to. Oh, yeah. Now, here's one hamster who thinks he's at an all-you-can-eat restaurant. Okay, you think he'd be full, right? Mm -hmm. But there's always room for vegetables. <laughs> Why don't you see if he'll eat an antacid? <laughs> it's time to teach yourself to laugh. Step one, watch these clips. Have you ever wished you could play a violin while swinging a hula hoop? No? Well, now you can. Want to know how? No? Well, here's how. Just order the instructional DVD. No! I don't want to do that. Ready to order? No? Then call this number, 1-900-NOT-INTERESTED. Operators are standing by. Oh, and will the pinch come back from the repair shop? 
my spine and it's cracking and my hip she is broke. I couldn't be in more pain. No when real the bitch come back from the repair shop. Won't they hear my cries? Oh, if it doesn't come back soon, my back will go out and I'll never stand straight again. Please, somebody, bring back Grandma's bench. <laughs> a cat waiting for a fax from a fax machine. Why, you might ask, is this cat waiting for a fax? Well... Because one cannot operate a Blackberry with paws. <laughs> Now, check out this goldfish, okay? Watch him very carefully. He's actually taught himself to swim upside down. You know why he's taught himself? Because who else is gonna teach him? He's alone! This is Jake. The most amazing part about Jake? He never took a lesson. Well, singing lesson. I mean, he's been taking piano for four years. So whoop-dee-doo, Jake. Do you know a funny pet or person? Are you a funny pet or person? Well, tape your pet or yourself doing something funny and send it to Funniest Pets and People, P.O. Box 7898, Burbank, California, 91505-9998. Make sure no animals or people are harmed in the making of your video, and please include your phone number. If we use it on the show, we'll send you $100 on a Funniest Pets and People t-shirt. You ever wonder why dogs don't like baths? Exhibit A. Is this really nice to do to your loyal pet? I mean, come on, you're just making him look ridiculous. Oh, okay, that is kind of cute. No, 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 still and all, it's not right. I mean, we're talking about man's best friend here. Your dog would do anything for you, and, and this is how you reward him by pulling his fur into <laughs> Oh, that's so cute! He looks like a widow, itty bitty chicken. He's just adorable. Oh, he's so cute. Woohoo! Now he's a bald doggy. Where'd your hair go, little doggy? <laughs> well, I'll see you next time.